Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Shipwreck 64. This may very well be the finale. This may be the last episode of the series. I don't, I don't think we've got that much left to go. We've uh, come a long, long way from connect, uh, collecting coconuts. And I think it's time we finally get down to the bottom of this. Last time we left off, we uh, used the code breaker to discover what I believe should be the code here. 1917. We're in. It's time to explore the rest of the Cogware offices. Well, hello, Bucky. Hello there. It's a note from Cogware. How am I supposed to read this? Here we go. The mass of four men sat in the room. It writhed and twitched like a dying animal, but it was still very much alive. It craved freedom, liberation, and happiness. Where is, where is this, this mass that it's talking about? I think we still have to be on the lookout for, uh, those barrels. Those barrels trying to appear on us. Oh. The note from Cogware. It begged, pleaded to leave, but it was held in that room for a long time. One day, though, when checked upon, the mass was missing. Oh, we got a video. Pull this up for you guys. It's called a fish. It has another video that links to called location. JD. Okay. Published March 12th, 1960. Okay, 1960. That's probably one of our codes for Code Breaker. And then location. What is this about? On the wall next to... What, is there a description? Did I already check that? No description. Okay. Is this the wall? No. It was a... It's a brown wall. Yeah, and it has one of those pillars. Okay. Let's go back. It may be... Was there a brown wall from the hallway? Oh wow, you can really see Bucky right here. Right there. Is this the wall? No, this is only three barrels. Let me just check one more time. Okay, no, it wasn't here. And what's down this other way? A keypad. Okay, so we need another key. The note from Cogware. It shambled, pulling itself out of the room. When it was far enough out of the building, it split right in half. The two halves went their separate ways. What the hell? Okay, but where is... Can't see anything else out of that window. Is there another area? where maybe in the previous office building where um 
I guess there's probably a hidden button that that video was referring to. We gotta find a brown wall. But it was obviously here in the offices. I, mean, I think this is the wall, guys. Oh. Okay, we got the button. What did that button do? Oh, there he is. What did us pressing that button do? Okay. Then, I don't know what that button did, but also, so apparently, the fish video. Okay, let me pull up the fish video again for you guys. So, this video, it shows us published March 12th, 1960. So if we look up fish published March 12th, 1960, there it is. It comes up with one fish, two fish, red fish, red fish, blue fish by Dr. Seuss. So, apparently, this is another code. Let me, let me check. <laughs> I'm, I, if you can't tell, I'm obviously following a guide because there's, I don't know how I would figure this out. Using that, the code should be 1283 because it's March, or it's, oh, 12 red, blue. And from the Picasso cipher, red and blue are eight and three. Okay. And so we now put this code. This is insane. Okay. Now we go put this code, which is 1283, into this keypad. Although I have no idea what pressing the button did. Oh my god, it actually worked. Okay. Note from Cogware. Where this tunnel leads, you'll know it well. Just promise me you're gonna stay calm. If you go through it, you can open the gate. The world needs to know. Are we gonna release? Are we gonna release the, the thing? I recognize this place. Just keep going. It's safe in here. What if we turn back? I don't want to find out. We're going to keep going. Hello? Anyone in here? looks like the tunnel that we've seen before with uh, Chief Wolf. What is that? It's a heart. And a mirror? Keep going? What? Oh, the gate's open. Congratulations on reaching the end of our demo. We're happy to see you 
see you're engaging with our work. But we're showing this to you for one reason. As a reward for seeing all of Cogware's capabilities, everyone I'd like you to, I'd like to introduce you all to. An exciting game set to release in 1997. I now present He's not happy. Shipwrecked? What do y'all want? What? I ran into a monster earlier today. It was right outside the park, a statue put together using chunks of wooden cloth. It looked bizarre, but then I saw it move. The hell is that? What even the hell is that? It's like the Pillberry Doughboy from from uh, yeah. Ghostbusters. I thought I was the only one rotting down here. <laughs> so much has happened. So much. They call the on you understand it. They call out to me. All four of them. I hear their voices skittering around in the inside of my wooden shell. Even down to the pulsating mass laying beneath it. I need you to find me. I won't be easy to catch. You'll need to prove to me that you want what I have. If you do as I ask, You'll know everything. Every single detail of what happened. Why you are who you are. What do you say, friend? Let's give it a go. I want to know. I am strong. Oh no. What am I finding? Find me? Okay. Should I have gone to the... Oh! Should I have gone to the hole? There's barrels here for us to hide in. Where do we need to go? Oh shoot! If we get caught, is it like game over? Once Giovanni leaves, we're going straight there. Come on, dude, get out of here. Not going, not going. I lied. Not going. <laughs> He left, he left. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This is locked? I don't know what happens if we get caught. Oh, he didn't catch us! He didn't catch us! What are we finding? Is this... Oh, you know. I didn't know if the glitched wall was there from... You know, that, that wall used to be... You used to be able to walk through it. God, it's bug 
Mickey. I'm not sure what we're looking for. There's another one, there's another one. Okay. Thirteen. Do they only spawn like one at a time? Hello, Bucky? Okay. And we're kind of going back and forth here. Yeah, they must spawn one at a time. Why'd the sound stop? Hey yo! Why'd the sound stop? There's another one. Although Bucky's right there. There's another one. He's right here. Oh, we're getting lucky. Five out of ten. Is that one right there? Or is that just Bucky? Oh, that's just Bucky. Okay. We'll go through here. I don't know what happens if we get caught here. But I feel like the stakes are probably pretty high. Check in the theater. Oh wait, this isn't the theater. Is it? No, that's just Bucky. We're getting attacked. Oh God, she spawned on us, dude. What happens? Oh, it sets us back one. I mean, that's not terrible. But finding these are difficult. Where are they? Yeah, there's one. Five out of ten. Six out of ten. Check our previous spot. No. I'm not sure if he can spawn anywhere or if it's um. Wait, I didn't know if that was gonna be an attack or a uh one of them spawning in. But we're good. Go check back here. Luckily, uh, it seems w Wally hasn't spawned yet, which is nice. We're missing some of the crew, which is helpful. Where is he? I stand corrected. Do I make this? Okay, we're good. Molly, let a brother go. Come on. Where is this thing spawned at? Can it be out here? I don't think so. I don't think it can be out on the beach. I mean, this is where we originally checked, right? That's Wally. Just Wally. Wally's nice. Guys, I'm a bit confused. I think I just heard it back there. What is that sound? Oh. This Bucky. How did we get- This is the door to the theater. 
Oh, there we go. Yes, okay. I had been trying to get the theater for a while. I guess we kept thinking the wrong door. Yes! Another good spawn! Another good spawn! Oh! It's huge! It's huge! World record run! Right here? Oh, okay, he didn't, he didn't spawn here. One more. One more. Hey, hey, my bad, my bad. He might break this. Hey, chill out. Uh oh. Die, die, die. Okay. We need these dudes to clear out. We need one more. Come on, buggy. Beat it. Oh. I didn't realize I was that powerful. I willed him away. Come on. Give us one more good spawn. Where's he at? How many barrels you fake? Come on. Okay, I'm going back this way. There he is! There he is! That's the tenth. Ask, and you shall receive. Let's take a look at the little mess you've made. This is the room that we got the phone call from Mark. Connor, look, I'm gonna be honest with you. I've been playing this for about two hours now, and I'm not seeing the widespread appeal you've been promising us. It's, well, to be honest with you, it's clunky. I don't know what I'm doing. The characters who you promised would have depth and life, they are just flat. I thought that's the entire point of a 3D game. What? You oversold it, Connor. That's what I'm trying to say. A company is meant to be forging new frontiers. And to be frank, after what happened at Studio Grounds, I really don't think this is going to be anything. It's not going to be anything in the same tier as our movies, our park, anything. And I really hate to say this, because I know for a fact you and your team put a lot of work into this game, but I just, I just don't know if it's worth continuing to sink money into. Make money to Mark, this is our job. You've had us working on this for two years, and now suddenly it's an issue? Yes, it's been two years. And in those two years, you've only sat me down now and showed me the actual fucking game. So, what can we do to fix it? Mark no, makes good points this here. This isn't a fix the game issue. It's a fix your perspective issue. Base game Mark, was kind of shit. You are sitting in front of some of the greatest technology of the decade, and you're gonna brush it off? Connor, I'm not brushing anything off. I'm just trying to understand where this- I'm sorry to say, Mark, but it's true. It's not that we've made a bad game. We've all exceeded the industry standard. What we're having a hard time passing is your thick skull and- Connor! Stop. Look, I'm so sorry about him. He's just under a lot of- Is it Harley? Is it not worth it anymore because you're trying to treat her instead? What? Yeah. Who's that in the I bag? It. What are you bringing her into this for? Because I bet that's what you're gonna do. You can't keep funding our two years worth of work. Gotta buy her a fancy casket. <laughs> Unbelievable. Mark, look, I, I'm really sorry. Now, lately, Liz, you're fine, okay? But I want you to know that we are done, professionally. All right, I don't want to work with any of you guys again. Quite frankly, I don't want to see you guys touch our property. Any of that. Am I clear? Y yes Mark. You can go now. No! No! Because first of all, I want our equipment back. You can go now! You can go! Leave! Take a step closer. Lay a fucking hand on me. You lay one hand on me, I'm gonna make sure you stay in jail for a real long fucking time. Huh? Who are they gonna believe? You? You are nothing. I will be taking my leave now. Good luck in your future endeavors. I expect the office to be cleared by next week. 
Do not contact me again. Mark's kind of in the right here. I mean, I mean, if the game was tanking money and they, this was two years of work for a game that wasn't going to make money. Connor might be a little out of line. Okay. It's a lovely day today. I could use some fresh air. Sorry, Bucky. Where are we going? Where are we? There's a computer here. Please just do it. Bucky, do what? What are you insinuating? Do we have to, to jump Bucky off the edge? Can he do his little cute little triple jump? Yeah, he can. Bucky's ending it all. This is the end. Thank you, Mark. That it? Not it. What is that? What are you even looking at? Hello everyone, as you may have heard, our lead dev here at Cogward, Connor Thomas, has taken his own life. As soon as the media found the disturbing content, Shipwrecked was removed from stores. And for nearly two decades, has been missing. And you are among the first to see what's inside of it. In honor of Connor Thomas, you were always there for us as a dad, as a boss. I would not be anywhere without you today. I've missed you. I never stopped missing you since the day we lost you. We hope that bringing your work back out is a good way to pay tribute. We'll miss you, Connor. Patrick Thomas. the gang thank you for playing there's so many unanswered questions that's it shipwreck that's that's crazy. I mean, there's still so many questions. Who is... What? Who was... Who was JD? Who ends up becoming Vandal? Who is Olive? Like, who is Olive in any of this? How was she related to anything at all?
What were the starlings? What if we go back to menu? Will it give us the actual menu, or is it going to give us this weird menu again? No. Is that it? Is that really all there is? Uh, let's go see is the... The gallery is now unlocked. Beaver, Olive Otter, Giovanni, Walter, Stumbler, Brandon, Gary, Olivia, Nathan, Vandal, Lot slash Rex, The Husk. So who even was Olivia? And whatever happened to Liz? How, I mean, and how did these, like, how did they become these weird, who is Brandon? Brandon was never named once in any of this. I mean, is that seriously it? Okay, guys, well, that, I can't pause in here. Let me turn off this music. That is the end of Shipwreck 64. I think there was probably a couple bonuses that we didn't find. Um, we never did unlock that that door that was in the uh in layer three. There was one gate that we never found out the code to and opened. But I mean, this was the playthrough. Uh, this was pretty much blind i mean in the final the very final moments we had to look some stuff up um to find out how to progress further but i mean i still have so many questions i mean who who is liz you know like what happened to liz does liz become stumbler you know how does how does chief wolf play into everything is that supposed to be connor um yeah, I have no idea. But that's it. This is uh this is all there is. Um I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh we I think we made a pretty good series out of this game. This was I mean, I literally just found this game on Steam. I had never seen anybody else play this at all. I had seen nothing on this game. So uh my playthrough probably wasn't um <laughs> the most uh you know, uh, linear, you know, we definitely had to take some detours. Um, but yeah, I might revisit it if people, um, if there's any big stuff that we missed that people want me to go back and see, I will definitely go back and do that. But that's the game. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, sorry if this video is short. I'm actually not sure after cutting it up how long it's going to be. but. Hope you enjoyed the finale. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for sticking around. And uh, hope you guys uh, stick around for a new series. So, 